Mike McElroy here with Thomas Fence. Today I want to show you a few different ways of how to use a jumper wire so that you can continue your flow from one section of a fence to over to another section. The first one here that I have demonstrated is where I have hand tied this high tensile wire and it's a good method to use but just tying the wire doesn't work so what I want to show you here's what happens if this wire is loose where well you can run it back and forth you don't have a good connection so if you're going to use 12 and a half gauge wire to jump your wire to get the energy to flow from one section of the fence to the other what you need to do is come back with a pair of pliers and do some extra tightening on it. So what you want to do is go opposite directions and take your wire, your, your, your pliers and tighten in two different directions so that you can get a real good fit on that if you do it correctly then you shouldn't be able to slide this wire back and forth um, if that wire can slide what's going to happen over time is that you will have corrosion set up and you're going to have some resistance in your wire the other important thing i do want to mention is that when you use a jumper wire always use the same kind of metal uh, we don't want to use a mixed metal like copper to our high tensile steel wire. So use, use the same kind of wire. Um, tie it is fine. Just go ahead and make sure that you take your pliers and really cinch down um, on the ends right here and get that good and tight so that you cannot take your hand and move that back and forth. All right, now we're going to look at option number two. Uh, this is a split bolt and it's got a little washer on it and it's got a nut and this is real real simple and it does make a very good connection uh, here you, again you have galvanized metal you have the same kind of wire so all we're going to do is we're going to slide that split bolt on there and then with this washer we're going to slide the washer on and then put our our nut on there now we do need to tighten that so I've got a I've got a three-quarter inch that'll fit the top right here and then I've got a seven eighths that'll fit the bottom and all we want to do is just tighten that up um, you don't it just needs to be snug um, you actually probably can overpower it with those two legs you might could snap one of them off but it's very simple, very easy, and if you wanted to ever take it off, you know, just uh, unloosen the nut and take the bolt off. So we're gonna jump it over here to the other side, and we'll do the same thing. So again, I'll show the leg, put the split bolt in there. Your washer and your nut. there you've got you've got your jumper wire um, <clears throat> these split, split boats um, they're about a dollar and 20 or 25 cents a piece so if you only have a few of these to do this might be your most economical way uh, to do this because you know everybody's got the tools uh, you can use an open-end wrench to tighten it with so it's a very economical way to jump your wires even if you want to jump from your top wire to all the hot wires below, like here we have a four strand, so if we want to hot all four, we would just go ahead and, and jump it from one to another, but it's going to take four of them if you want to do that. If this is a termination where you, your energy flow is going to stop right here, 
then I would suggest go ahead and tying all your hot wires together. All right, now we're looking at our third option that we have to uh, jump our wire from, from one fence section to another. Um, the third option here is what we call an open-end tap. Um, it's just a, a crimp. And, you know, they're, they're just a single crimp. You see that one is open, and then one has just a hole through it. So with, a, with an existing fence that you have already terminated it, we know the electricity is going to stop right here. We want to jump it over to here. What's nice about it is with that open end, we can just slide that onto that wire. We can put our jumper wire through that hole. And then we're just going to take a crimp tool here. You want to get it in that crimp tool correctly. So it's it's in the crimp tool, and all you have to do is squeeze down, and it makes a great connection for that wire. Probably one of the best connections that you can have in jumping a wire. Now I want to point out one thing. These, these crimps are only used for jumping wires. You never want to use these crimps like with bringing two wires together and then pulling tension on it. And that's not what they're designed for. It's not what they're made for. So it's only just uh, just to run a, a jumper wire from one wire to another. So we can go over here and again we can the open end goes on your existing wire and then you're closed in and then you put your crimping tool on there Just a great connection. Again, we use the same kind of wire, the high tensile wire, over to our crimp. You know, there, there can be other ways of doing that, but that's three of the ways that, uh, that I wanted just to share with you today on jumping your wire. You can also use uh, the opening crimps the same as you did with the uh, split boats <clears throat> and jumping your wire from your top wire to your other hot wires uh, in your fence depending on uh, if you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven strands of, of wire. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll see you next time.